Joining us this morning is Mike Marsh, the son of Henry Marsh, Saginaw's first black mayor. We are so excited that he's joining us this morning. Thank you for calling in today, Mike. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Of course. You know what? Tell us a little bit about your dad, Henry Marsh. He became the first black mayor. What an amazing accomplishment. He started out on city council, and actually he should have been mayor the year before he was actually selected as mayor because uh, there was a tradition in Saginaw that the top vote getter would become mayor. Mm -hmm. And the first time he ran for, for city council, he was the top vote getter. And uh, there was a feeling by some on the council that Saginaw wasn't quite ready for a black mayor. Oh, wow. So he wasn't selected when he really should have been. If he had been selected then, he would have been the first uh, black mayor of a major city in the entire country. Sure. But when he finally was selected that following year, he was elected mayor at the same time that two other black mayors were elected. There was uh, Hatcher, and then there was uh, the mayor of Cleveland, and I can't remember his name off the top of my head right sure. now. Sure. And you know what, Mike? Your father was mayor during some of the most serious civil rights challenges of our time. Tell us about that. Well, actually, I was gone. I was in college at that time, so I really wasn't here to witness all of it, but he um, was trying to keep the community together. Yes. There was hard feeling both ways, mm. and, you know, he did what he could to quell potential violence, and uh, it certainly wasn't, it, what happened in Saginaw wasn't near what happened in a lot of other communities, so uh, I guess to some degree it was successful. Sure. Now talk to us about his legacy and lasting impact on Saginaw. What would you want people to remember about your father? Well, he, he was devoted to Saginaw. He, uh, he really loved Saginaw, and a lot of people don't know that he was instrumental along with uh, Harry Brown and Reuben Daniels hmm. in uh, opening up the auto plants in Saginaw to black people to become uh, involved in skilled trades. Hmm. Uh, that was, uh, it was a, what you call a closed shop okay. uh, back in the 60s and there were no black skilled trades workers in any of the plants in Saginaw. So uh, Harry Brown, who owned the uh, mortuary, uh, was involved with the UAW. And the three of them, my dad, Harry Brown, and Ruben Daniels, worked with the plants and finally convinced them to open up uh, skilled trades to uh, black workers. And, you know, that was obviously a financial boom for those workers because skilled trades paid very well a lot more than the you know the average uh, laborer in the uh, plant. Well, you know what? Lastly, Mike, I have to ask you, as the son of the first black mayor of Saginaw, what are your thoughts? How do you feel about that? Oh, I, I was very proud of it. Yeah. <laughs> when he was first elected, I was in high school, uh, but then shortly after that, I went to college, so I was gone for you know part of that time. Sure. But uh, no, I was very proud of my dad. And, uh, I used to get a lot at school, but that was, that was no big deal. <laughs> right. <laughs> a lot of people would call me the mayor's son. Of actually. course. <laughs> of course. You're a little celebrity, I'm sure. That's for sure. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for joining us and sharing your father with us this morning. We appreciate you joining us this morning. Thank you. Okay, well, thank you for having me. You are welcome. If you want more information, please check out the Black History Month section of our website, WNEM.com.